So this handsome Korean guy is in Germany to save the love of his life. Is it possible that he can get arrested in Germany even though he's a Korean citizen and there on I guess a tourist visa? Song. Yes. My heart has been broken recently. I hope not by me. <laughs> no. <laughs> my Queen of Tears. So today we're gonna to be reacting to Queen of Tears to the episodes that's relevant to law and lawyers and finding out which parts of it is true and what is make-believe. Dinza! <laughs> Eh? So this handsome Korean guy is in Germany to save the love of his life. Is it possible that he can get arrested in Germany even though he's a Korean citizen and there on I guess a tourist visa? Well, I guess that's possible, but only if Korea has an extradition treaty with Germany and made an extradition request to Germany. So how long would that process take? Is that something you can do in like one week or less? Well, normally I would imagine it can be a process taking months or even years. Really? Yes. So in this so this Korean drama is fake, fake, fake news because the police came to arrest him within like a few weeks of him purportedly being charged for murder. I mean, normally the process will take far longer. Ah, so and afterwards, an uh, accused person who's arrested in a foreign country may even take proceedings in that foreign country to challenge the extradition. Understood. So they can't just come in to the hospital and take it out straight away. There'll be a lots of processes that are baked in. Well, the German police could conceivably arrest him and put him into German detention, but uh, this star could then challenge the extradition before the German courts and try to say that the extradition would be unfair, detention was unfair, uh, he is not being uh, prosecuted, he's being prosecuted for a political reason, various things. Interesting. I'm so confused. Why, Why is there an English confused? document in a German uh, country uh, with Korean characters? Oh, so, so what you're trying to say is that the document you would imagine if it, this was in Germany would be in German? I would imagine. Yes, and do you think that Korean policemen would appear or would that be... Are they allowed to arrest people in other countries? Well, this Korean-speaking person is saying that he's from the German police force. So perhaps it's the German police force um, recruiting somebody who's Korean-speaking to oh, arrest. Got it. Yeah, so is this process the same in Singapore? A, you have the right to remain silent. Would that be something they say? And B, what would this in reality look like if this arrest took place in Singapore? Well, so many things to say about it wow. if this were in Singapore. Number one, you have... Technically, the right to remain silent, but if you remain silent when the police ask you questions, the court can possibly, at the end of the day, draw the inference that you are actually guilty. That's oh. why you are remaining silent. Secondly, the police in Singapore do not have the responsibility to advise you of your rights upon arrest. I oh, got it. So all the things that you see in this film and in US movies about you having the Fifth Amendment right and to remain silent, that's not present in Singapore. So. If no one's telling you what your rights are, then how do you know what your rights are? Because when you're arrested, you can't go Google, right? <laughs> okay, normally, even though not legally uh, required, the police in Singapore does uh, advise them or inform them of certain most basic information. Mm. For example, the police would at the very least be telling them that the arrestee is under investigation for certain types of offences and the police would be mostly telling the arrestee, please make sure that whatever you tell me and gets recorded in the statement is accurate. And the police would then also say, uh, if you require an interpreter, uh, please uh, tell us. Mm. If the person who gets arrested insists that I have my right to remain silent, I don't have to answer any questions that you ask me, how would that be dealt with in Singapore, do you think? Well, 
Uh, on the one hand, there's this principle in Singapore that's also in the US and the UK called the privilege against self-incrimination. Oh. What that means is that you don't have to voluntarily say something to mm. incriminate yourself. On the other hand, there's this concept whereby if you refuse to answer a question, again, as I mentioned earlier, the court can, at the end of the day, say, oh, the reason you're not answering the question is because you are actually guilty of something. Uh, you can apply that in your marriage as well. <laughs> Moving on. So, in real life, can you really just drag a person out like this? Yes. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Of course, they must do so lawfully. Oh. Um, How do you lawfully drag someone out? Well, in certain jurisdictions, mm. such as for example in the Western countries, normally mm. the police would have um, needed some form of authorization from a court to obtain an arrest warrant. Uh, in uh, places like Singapore, uh, mm. the trash, you don't need so many requirements in order to lawfully arrest somebody. The mm. police just need some reasonable reasons to suspect the arrestee of having uh, committed some offence. Mm. But in this case, he's waiting for his wife to finish his her surgery or his ex-wife to be wife again to finish the surgery. So. Can there be a plea that he makes to say that, hey, let me finish and wait here for two hours? Uh, that is possible. Uh, the police is not legally required to accept that request. Mm. But yes, out of compassion, that is something that they can do. Mm. So this officer has no compassion. <laughs> Uh, which prison is this? Is this a German prison? Korean prison? This is the Korean prison. You do not watch Queen of Tears. Well, I'm watching it now. Uh. <laughs> well, was he here just after he got arrested in Germany? Yes. Okay, I find that a bit surprising. Uh. I mean, Germany is a signatory to the European Convention of Human Rights. And as you know, in Western countries, they are very pro-human rights of criminal defendants. So are you trying to say Asian countries are not pro-human rights? Um, they are more interested in the communitarian and the public interest, perhaps. Mm. But of course, not at the expense of the most fundamental human rights. Oh, blah, blah. Yes, continue. But yes, but in um, normal situations, even if one were being extradited from Singapore, one were arrested in Singapore and being extradited overseas, mm. normally the accused would have some minimal rights to challenge the lawfulness of the extradition. In Germany? At the arresting country. How do they even find a lawyer to assist them with the requests because they are in prison? Well, that would again depend on the various rules of the jurisdiction. Mm. So, um, in Singapore, there are certain accused persons who uh, would be entitled to free legal representation because of their circumstances. Mm. Uh, okay. Otherwise, uh, there will be certain country in depending on the various countries, they may permit you access to your embassy or they may permit you access to lawyers at a certain stage. Mm. And the other, I guess, non-real part of this scene is the lawyer in this scene is a divorce lawyer and oh. he's actually doing a murder trial. I think in reality, I have not yet found a lawyer who can both do divorce cases very, very well and a murder trial as well. So I think that's also a bit fallacious. Well, that being said, um, I suppose there are fewer lawyers in Singapore and lawyers in Singapore may sometimes do more than one field. Uh, so, so maybe you can find it in Singapore. Yes. Finding. So, Song, how correct is Queen of Tears? Legally, 4 out of 10. Oh, Bill! I suppose it's fun to watch. So. Yes, and it's number one trending on Netflix as we film this. So be sure to catch it. And if you're not watching it, you're not living life. <laughs>